Dr. David Goldberg. Uh, I am the co-director of uh, SMAC, the Sanctuary Medical Aesthetic Center with Dr. Posner uh, here in Boca Raton, Florida. I'm also the director of Skin Laser and Surgery Specialists of New York and New Jersey with offices in New York, New Jersey and in Boston. And finally, I'm the director of laser research in the Department of Dermatology at Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York. We're going to talk about melasma, uh, which is a, a very common condition in women, uh, sometimes called cloasma or melasma. It's known as the mask of pregnancy, although you clearly do not have to be pregnant to have it. Uh, it's pigmentation that's often seen along the cheeks, the upper lip, sometimes the forehead, uh, and it seems to be related to estrogen. So we see it in women sometimes on the birth control pills, uh, sometimes when they're pregnant, uh, sometimes around menopause, or sometimes for no reason at all. Uh, usually these women have somewhat of an olive complexion, but not always. And the pigmentation, which is brownish in color, is always worsened with sun exposure. Uh, it is a very difficult problem to treat. Uh, people have tried scattered different creams, uh, occasional lasers. Uh, we see a lot of patients with it in our centers uh, because it's a difficult problem and we've actually now achieved some pretty good success treating melasma. The way we treat melasma is very different than uh, other places because we combine different approaches. Instead of using one laser to try to lessen the pigment, uh, which some places have done unsuccessfully, or trying to use creams to lighten the pigment, which other centers have done also unsuccessfully, we combine lasers and creams together. And what we do is we have one laser-like treatment, which lessens the pigment on the skin, but we also use other light devices, which lessen inflammation. Because one of the problems in melasma is that if you create any inflammation, even using some sort of abrasive buff puff, if you will, you can make melasma worse. So we use one laser-like device to lessen the pigment, another one to suppress formation of other pigment, and then we have our own topical cream, uh, which is very unique, which will also decrease that pigment. That treatment is done usually over a series of treatments. Uh, it could be anywhere up to five times, generally done once a month. Uh, sometimes the first time you may not see any improvement at all, you pretty much will start seeing something by the second time. Uh, and then it gets better each time we do it. Sometimes we get total clearance of the melasma, the pigmentation. Uh, sometimes it's just better than it was before. But it invariably is improved. The one problem we have is that you have to help us out. And that is, if you get too much sun, that makes this problem worse. So that we can treat you, but you really have to use good sunscreens to lessen your sun exposure. And in the real world, because we all get a certain amount of sun, you can pretty much count on the fact that we'll treat you over a series of treatments, generally once a month for five months. And then to keep things under control, I'd like you to come back once every six months just for a single treatment. So if you become frustrated with your melasma and you feel like nothing helps, it's time to call us. Call us for a consultation. We'll discuss the treatment options and we'll start making you look better.